literally, next time, open your ears because I didn't say that. <laughs> but you're seriously in it. You are. Comment down below telling me if you think. Follow my page. <laughs> Facebook me. Instagram me. Facebook. Slightly out of focus. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming this makeup look right here. Also, if you've never seen my face before and you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. Right here. Right there. Or down there. I've been getting lots of comments telling me to do a makeup tutorial and to show you my everyday makeup. Two days ago was my birthday. And if you're wondering, I'm 17 now. 17! Where you can... Where... And I got a new camera for my birthday because the camera I was using before, I had had for about two years, it wouldn't turn on when I wanted it to turn on and it just had like lots of issues and it was just uh, like me. Also, I have always wanted a camera that auto-focused on my face while I was filming and this camera does it and I'm so happy about it. It's the Canon Rebel T6i, so. Anyway, okay, let's get into this video. So I already moisturized with my Clinique moisturizer. You guys know I love that. I use it all the time. I don't do this every day, but when I'm feeling it, I will use my Max Strobe Cream. Bree's here. Lena, can you please move over? You're still in it. <laughs> Bree! Some scars on my foot. I just put it on my cheekbones and then a little bit on my nose. My nose. <laughs> and then a little bit on my nose too. I also put it a little bit on my cupid's bow. Is that what this is? So then I like to take my Benefit Professionals Pro- The Benefit Professionals Primer. So I just put this where I have like the biggest pores so that they're minimized at least a little bit and my face just looks more smooth. We have this giant teddy bear. Let me show you my snapshot. We have Look, he's on the teddy bear. Then, I've been using this forever, I really like it. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Concealer, and I think it's specifically for under your eyes, which is good, because it's really creamy and it blends easily. Because you don't want anything like super heavy going under your eyes. Then I use this Sigma Precision Angled Brush. I haven't really been using my Beauty Blender that much. I have some scarring on my face from like past breakouts, and I have a couple little problems. So I like to use my Makeup Forever full cover concealer. I've used this in like every single makeup tutorial I've ever filmed so. And I'm blending it out with another Sigma Precision Round brush. So I don't know what kind of makeup tutorials I should do. I don't know what you guys like better. So let me know if you like talk through makeup tutorials like this or do you want me to do like voiceovers or what. Just let me know because whatever's more fun to watch. <laughs> I'm honestly really not that good at makeup. Like if you go on YouTube and search whatever makeup tutorial, there will be a bunch of girls that are amazing at makeup and I'm just, I'm still learning. I, I wouldn't consider myself like a makeup pro. Like Tori Sterling is really good. I'm just, I'm just average. It's just fun for me. So moving on to eyebrows, I like to use my Anastasia brow powder. This is another thing that I use in like every single video. My shade is Ebony. Um, I use their Anastasia brush too. The key to how I do my eyebrows, I just fill in the sparseness at the beginning of the eyebrows, you know what I mean? It's like super thin over here for some reason. I don't have as much hair. <laughs> so I try to make it a little darker over there. And yeah, that's, that's my eyebrows. And then when I'm done, I like blend it out with my finger so it's not so dark at the beginning. My favorite powder is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. And I have mine in light to medium. And it's a really good powder. I like to use the little pad thing it came with. I just like press it into this area. It makes my skin look really smooth and it also sets my under eye concealer. And then I just like press it into areas that I know get oily. And that's about it. So then I use my Hoola bronzer. This this is my favorite and I use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I usually don't say what brushes I use but I've actually gotten questions on what brushes I use so there you go. I've been asked if there's any good dupes for Hula Bronzer. So this is my sister's. It's actually a pressed powder by CoverGirl. She just got a really dark shade. Because I don't really know what makeup <laughs> is. It's very very similar to Hula Bronzer. If you got like 
a shade darker in this, then it would be like identical to the Hula Bronzer. So it's the CoverGirl Normal Skin Press Powder, and she got it in Soft Honey, but there's probably a darker shade too. So I think this would be a good dupe. Basically what I do with my Hula Bronzer, contour my cheekbones right here, and then I bring it up right here on my temples, and then I contour my forehead too. This actually makes me look significantly more tan than I actually am. So I just like put bronzer all along the top of my forehead and then I kind of bring it down a little. I suggest this if you are as pale as I am. And then I always, always do blush. I think it really helps my face look more alive. I just talked about this in a recent video. I actually talked about like everything in a recent video, but now I'm showing you how I use it. Okay. I use the Madam Glam. I got this online. I've been using it every single day. You just want to make it look like you're sun-kissed and just like that. I use my Real Techniques, all my brushes are Real Techniques, multitask brush. And I like to put it like starting on my cheekbones and then I put it more on the apples of my cheeks. And I put a little bit on my nose too, just cause why not. Then I've been doing this forever, you've probably seen me do this in a video too. I take this fluffy elf brush, I actually, yeah, it's a concealer brush, which I find very strange. I use it for eyeshadow, so I go back to my Hula Bronzer and I use this brush, cause it's super fluffy, and I just put it all over my eyelid up to my brow bone. This also helps me look a little bit more tan than I actually am and it really brings my eyes out too. So. Oh my gosh, I forgot highlighter. What the heck? Always have to use my NARS Albatross highlighter and I've been using this brush by Mark. I use this for highlighter and I just kind of put it on my cheekbones. Um, I also put a little bit on my nose because I guess I just put everything on my nose too. Also, I will use my little sample of What's Up highlighter by Benefit and I'll put it down the bridge of my nose and then kind of like on the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'll just blend it out a little bit and there you go. Then I curl my eyelashes. For mascara, I use my Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. It's my absolute favorite mascara, even over like high-end brands. This is my favorite. Does everything I want mascara to do. Then I also put it on my lower lashes. One last step. I've been doing this a lot lately because I got the Kylie Jenner lip gloss in literally. I talked about this already on my channel. And when I first got it, I tried it on right after I opened it. It looked horrible on me because I, I don't know, I wasn't wearing any makeup and it just did not look good. I posted that on my snap story and then I didn't wear it after that and then I tried it on again and I actually really liked it so I've been wearing it like every single day after that. Okay, and that's my everyday makeup. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was everything you hoped it would be. So that's my everyday makeup look. I've been doing it for a while now. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other kind of videos you want to see from me. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, guys. <laughs> it's like so much more extreme than your voice. Yeah. Also, I've been getting lots of questions about this shirt. I wear it all the time. I know I'm going to get a couple comments. So I got this shirt in LA at a secondhand store type thing called American Rebel. Here it is. I don't even know what it is, but it's so cute. Anyway, I love you guys so much and thank you for staying till the end. You rock and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh.